for peace and an end to gun violence continues. This after an off-duty NYPD officer was shot Saturday here at the community center at 3250 Broadway. Police say it happened as the Housing Bureau officer was leaving a vigil. We're told two men were firing shots and a bullet pierced the officer in the leg. Thankfully, he is expected to be okay. But this is now the seventh NYPD officer shot since January. Former NYPD chief and now Suffolk County Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison emotional the Sunday. I have two daughters that have joined the, the ranks of the NYPD. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm scared. Every time they walk out the door, I make sure I give them a hug and give them a kiss because I'm going to... I'm concerned about them coming home. He was joined by several law enforcement and community officials outside Hewlett House on Long Island. We don't fly around with capes that kids think about. We walk the streets and we protect you at night when you sleep. That's what heroes do. Hewlett House is a community support and resource center for cancer patients. But director Jerry Barish says it's now time to support the men and women in blue, too, as she kicked off a blue ribbon campaign. We need to be giving them all the support they need. As it continues to be a difficult time for law enforcement, officials are calling for unity and a change in the criminal justice system. I certainly would like to see us all be one. We have to not only let them know that we're behind them, but we have to fight for them. We have to fight against those who want to defund the police. We have to fight against those who pass crazy laws like the Bail Reform Act that make our police officers less safe.